Welcome again to be truly transformed. Before you are born, there is a life that has been prepared for you to fulfill here on earth. While you are still in your mother's womb, the Lord has known you. He created you and formed you in your mother's womb. Your birth is never a coincidence with the world. Your coming to the world is firstly God's best plan to bring something different to the world. There is a plan that is meant for your fulfillment in life. You can't fulfill this plan when you plan outside the plans of the Lord for your life. You've got to discover yourself and know what it is you have been created for. You must first know the reason God has given you to that woman that birthed you and the reason he has placed you in that position you are now. When your plans are not going according to the one God has for you, they are bound to fail. You go through the stress of making plans that are not getting you anywhere. You have toiled for a long while trying to get something done all by yourself. But these things are not working out for you. It is tiring to work outside the plans of the Lord for you. It is not ideal to be alone without the help of the Lord that will help you do things well. Never take the help from God for granted because you can't do it well if the Lord is not with you. Many have struggled to succeed. Many have failed many times because they are not working according to the plans of God in their life. So many lives, businesses, careers, marriages, ideas, and dreams have crashed in the long run because they have not involved the plans of the Lord for them. Trusting God's plans for your life frees you from some stress and failure, setback that comes from it. Before you were born, everything you needed has been made already for you to follow. Plans to help you become great has been made for you. But when you choose to create different plans for yourself, or when you don't trust the plans of the Lord for your life, when you keep struggling with your effort instead of holding on to the plans of God for your life, failure and setback are inevitable when you do not trust the plans of the Lord for your life. It brings futility to your effort and plans when you have refused to trust and follow the plans of the Lord for your life. The words of the Lord says, there is a way that seems right to a person, but the end is destruction. There are lots of options for you to follow to reach your proposed destiny, but you will be better and successful when you follow the plans of the Lord. The ways of the Lord is the way of success. There is no setback. There is no failure in the Lord. Can I ask you this? How can you fail when the Holy Spirit of the Lord that knows all things is guiding you in the journey? How will you fail it when you have the Holy Spirit that will teach you all things? God knows everything. He knows the end before the beginning began. Before you were born, He knows you. He knows you by your name, and He has made all things for you. The great option for you is to choose the way and the plans of the Lord for you. There has never been anybody in history of life that has trusted the Lord and the plans of the Lord that has ever failed. When you want to do it your way, when you want to do it without the Lord's help, when you are relying on your wisdom and you think you don't need the Lord's help, it could end up in setback. Have you wondered in the reason many plans have failed? Have you thought of the reason many great ideas have not seen the light of day? If your thoughts are these, then you are making progress in discovering yourself. Many great ideas fail because they are not in line with the plans of the Lord. They have not trusted God to plan for them. They have not listened to the word of the Spirit of God that directs them to will and to do whatever they want to do. This is it. The devil is also planning while the Almighty God is also planning. Both are working out their purpose for you. They are planning a life according to the blessing they have prepared for you. It is all left for you to decide what works for you. Are you going to follow after the plans of the Lord for your life, or are you going to follow the will of the devil for your life? Can there be anything good from the devil? Can there be any free blessing from the devil without a greater price in return? The devil never has any good plans for you. The devil plans for you is to fail, fall, destroy you, and make you remain on the ground. The devil wants to hold you down. You cannot get to the top when the devil is holding your hands without your life, your happiness, your joy, your peace, and your soul paying the ultimate price. God is saying, the plans I have for you are not the plan of evil, but good, to ensure that you have a good end, a celebrated end, a sweet and accomplished end. You can't ignore the plans of the Lord. You have to trust the plans that he has for you so that you will not get the heartbreak, setback, disappointment, losses, failure. So many times, many lost their lives in the process of struggling outside the plans of the Lord. You call it the freedom to your choice, but it is only God that can empower your choices and your plans. Great men that have in time past in the history of life, achieved awesome wonders and great accomplishment, had never had their plans by themselves. They followed the plans and the dictates of the Lord for their life. 
Dr. Miles Monroe, Kenneth E. Hagen, Apostle Paul of the Old, the Copelands, and many more. You could add to the list as you have known. All these men and women have trusted the Lord to propose a plan for them to follow, and they lived a fulfilled life. The apostles of the old never made any decision without taking the counsels of God first. They allowed the will of the Lord to come through. Jonah was asked to Nineveh to preach to them, and they will repent from their evil way to avoid the wrath of God from consuming them. Jonah refused, but wanted to run away from the land. While he was in the ship trying to go elsewhere to avoid the plans of the God, probably he had his plans, but God caused the storm to hit the sea, and their ship and their lives were on threat until they knew it was because of Jonah and they threw him out of the ship. God made a big fish swallow him and took him to Nineveh. Even Jesus, all his life, never had a plan without the will of God the Father. You are going to do yourself a great deal of harm if you do not trust the plans of God for your life. It brings the setback to life. It makes you make lots of wrong choices. Your life when you receive the salvation of the Lord had been hidden in Christ. Your life no more belongs to you when you are in Christ. Apostle Paul said, Not me that lives, but Christ lives in me. When Christ then lives in you, you have the whole of the plans of the Lord to follow. You have the world of the ways of the Lord to go. What he wants you to do is what you are going to do. Trusting the plans of God for your life makes it easier for you to make it and shine. Is it not God that will prosper you? Surely it is the Lord that will make your plans work. He will only attend to you when you are in line with his moves, when you are working and planning according to what he wants to do for you. Can you listen to this already? When God is planning anything, he is making those plans for your good. You have the best life when you are fixed into the plans of the Lord. When God wants you to handle the word, you have no option then to hold them, because you may not know what to say that might lead you into trouble. He wants you to work for him. He wants you to stay back and fellowship with him that morning. Just listen and obey because the word's coming to you. He has the best plan to protect you from dangers and terrors, from criticisms and failure. He's going to tell you to make that choice over the other. You just have to take that step to avoid the setbacks that are coming to you. Let God make the plans for you. Let God lead the ways for you. Involve God in your plans and you will see the goodness of God in it. You would not have to fight anymore because he will do the fighting for you. You will no more think about how to make things work. He will make it work for you. Sometimes along the line, it could become difficult to move, to do anything, to take a step. It will be stormy and strong in the journey. If you didn't let the plans of God to prevail over yours, you will be discouraged to do anything because you will not know what to do anymore. You will be stranded and confused because you are walking alone. What you have started without God will become the failing element of your life. But if you allow God to make the plans for you, if you trusted God in the beginning to plan for you, Whenever there is any crisis, whenever there are storms and you are confused on what else to do, you have to call on God to do something. When the way is shut, you have to call on God to make the way. God does not start a thing and forsakes it. God does not promise a thing and will not fulfill it. Trusting God in times of need, lack, and when you let him lead you into anything you want to do, it will free you from the setback ahead. You may not see the future, but God does. You may not know what the end of your actions may be, but God knows. You may not know what the plans of your associates and your partners are, but only God knows the thought of every man. He could prepare the way ahead of you when you trust him to plan for you. The choices of your life are in your hands, but you may not have the power to prevent the storms from coming. That is why you have to give your choice to God, so that he could secure your life and your plans for you and you will be free from the failure and setback that will attack. Christ is readily available for you if you need help. If the trouble becomes unbearable, he is saying, trust me, you have peace in the Lord because on him is the foundation of our found hope. That is the strong rock we stand. You have Christ in you, then you have your hopes alive. Hopelessness disappears at the presence of our Lord Jesus. What are you going through right now? Your hope is an assurance that you're going to receive help. Christ is the anchor. If Christ is in you, you got to build your hope on him. Turbulent and stormy days will come as you sail on. You will need him to help you through them or even speak some words to relieve you so you can have your peace at once. Engage him like his disciples did. Do you not care that we are perishing? Through it was in fear, but their statement shows that they trust him that he could stop the storm. Jesus stopped the storm and it amazed them. The miracle and the activities of the Lord in your life bring smiles and amusement to your life. 
Not just the effect of the dark night of troubles, but the victories of the light by Christ. 